bloc of allies of Russia and China in Latin America will reduce the influence of the United States. Experts from Latin American countries comment on the loud statement of Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro, who recently spoke at the National Assembly of the country. Maduro proposed to create a political bloc of allies of Russia and China with the participation of Latin American states. Maduro is confident that such a political bloc could become a new pole of power. This community would share the common goals that our elder brother, President Xi Jinping, speaks of. Humanity united by a common destiny. Our building that multipolar and multicentric world that our older brother, President Vladimir Putin, is talking about, Maduro said. These statements caused different reactions in the expert community. Although Maduro has already managed to present the idea of a political bloc to the presidents of several countries in the region, we are talking about Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, etc. The proposal to create a new association is, to some extent, a continuation of the idea of Brazilian President Lula during his first presidential mandate to create a military bloc of a united South America. Although perhaps Maduro sees the transformation of this association into a military political union in the future. In Brazil, there were brief media responses to Maduro's proposal. It should be noted that media sympathetic to the right and Jair Bolsonaro in particular gave derogatory characteristics of the idea of a new bloc as complete nonsense, an idea absolutely unnecessary for Brazil, etc. But in Brazil, there is another point of view, namely that such an alliance of an equal footing with Russia and China will enable Brazil not only to strengthen its regional status, but also to join the circle of world powers. Brazilian political scientist Pavel Gras, an expert at Tropical BRICS Plus consulting company, told EAD Daily, in turn, another well-known Brazilian expert and public figure, Enrique Dominguez, special secretary for Latin America of the BRICS IMF, is sure that the statement of President Nicolas Maduro on the proposal to create a political bloc of Latin American countries with the aim of collectively joining the Chinese-Russian efforts to build a new multi-popular world of universal prosperity meets the historical needs of the region. However, the full integration of the Latin American region is not in the interests of the United States. In this case, it will be more difficult for the United States to continue to exert direct influence on the South American continent. That is why the constant interventions, destabilizations, sanctions provoked by the US in Latin America harm the development and deepening of Latin regional integration through existing organizations. Therefore, Reproachment with China and Russia, as suggested by the Venezuelan president, could be a good tactical path to secure a future with less U.S. interference in Latin American affairs, and also to consolidate Latin America as one of the poles of power in the new multipolar world that is beginning to take shape in the coming years.